Dawson, it, when you reacted to scoring your goal, it almost felt like this huge sense of relief that you guys finally get that power play goal. You're scoring. I mean, how did that moment feel for you? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, we had uh, that power play we were generating a lot, and uh, we've been working on it in practice, watching video, and uh, uh, putting a lot of work towards it, so it was great to get rewarded for it, and uh, I was happy to put that one in the back of the net. What did you think of that little assist that came your way? The, the assist that came your way for the goal. Well, assist for the goal? Yeah. I scored on the goal. No, no, the assist that came to you. Not, I I'm so pass. lost on that. All right, so pass. Nico's pass. Correct. All right. Um, I know no, he scored. Obviously, Nico's a, a big playmaker, so obviously I found that sweet spot, and um, he was he was back behind the net, and obviously he found me, so that's uh, kind of that job in the middle there and uh, find that open ice, and uh, he, he did a great job finding me, and I was lucky enough to get another uh, chance at it with the rebound and put, uh, put it away. What do you think of just the way you guys you know, won your last game using that speed game? It almost felt a little bit different today where you had to chip away at this one. What does that tell you guys about the team that you're building here? Yeah, it was great. Obviously, we want to build our game all around the speed. We, that's our advantage, uh, uh, flying around out there and creating those opportunities, and um, I think they did a good job, obviously, uh, they're a big team and uh, they're playing in front of us there a bit and obviously we kept with it and uh, you know we battled it out and got that two to one win but uh, you know we, we still didn't get away from our game and uh, I think that paid off in the end. Dawson, can you give us an insight into how the locker room mood has changed uh, ever since you know this this three, three game winning streak started? Yeah well I think right from the start obviously uh, you, you go back to training camp. Uh, I love the group that we got and the guys that we brought in and um, I think everyone's grown from last year and uh, we all gotten better in our individual but then we came together as a group and um, obviously you know when you're you're on a three game win streak the, the mood in the room is obviously happy every day you look forward to coming in here uh, uh, going on the ice laughing with the guys and uh, when we go out there and perform like that it's it's obviously a fun day at the, at the job. What, uh, what has changed for you from one year to the next? You seem like you haven't really, your game is pretty much the same, like you, you feel more confident, you play with more confidence? Uh, yeah, obviously I don't want to change my game too much. Uh, obviously I want to build on it and, you know, create those, be an offensive player, like scoring goals and stuff like I did today. And um, I think obviously last year I'm that 200 foot player and I still want to have that. So I, I want to make sure that everyone's, when they're out there with me, they trust me on the D side. And, uh, but also, you know, uh, you know, uses my speed and offensive ability to score some goals. For, first of all, you know, you look at the last win, the way you guys won with your speed game, that type of dominance. This felt like a little bit of a different game for you guys to, to pull out, a little more chipping away at the game as the minutes go on. What does that tell you about the group that you're building in here, that there are multiple ways that you can depend on yourselves? Yeah, every every game is not going to be the same way. And I feel like in Ireland, we, we came up with a, with a lot of energy and was playing a really, really fast game. And uh, today we were playing uh, against a little... A little different team, and uh, we we got to find a way to to win those games too. And uh, today we we came really together as a group, and I feel like we showed strong leadership to to find a way to play the right way. We, we were holding each other accountable, and uh, we came out with a win. Yesterday, when you and I were talking, you were saying that you know on the power play, it's that little last percentage that you guys just needed to get that power play goal and get things going. Is that you know? A relief now tonight, that or this afternoon, that you got that goal with uh, Dawson. Yeah, Dawson was on the right, right place at the right time, and uh, at the same time, I think there's a lot of stuff that we can do better. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was, I was standing there for for one time and kind of give away a, a puck too. So there, there are small details that we're we're still going to connect on, and uh, we're going to continue working on this. But uh, obviously, for the confidence for the group, and we gave the group a little extra energy and uh, got the team a little bonus. And obviously, the obviously the goal was a big part. So uh, good job from Nico and. Uh, finding mercy there. Yes, we're one of those details uh, before the game. Lindy was saying, "What's from you specifically? You wanted to see you shoot a little more. Is that something you've been working on, shooting puck more?" Yeah, I feel like I'm always trying to trying to work on that in practice and uh, get a get a ton of help from from management and uh, from goalie coaches. And uh, obviously, that's something that uh, you just got to keep keep working on. And all of a sudden, uh, uh, you get a shot on your leg or something and it bounces in. But uh, obviously, the mentality is is there to to keep continue shooting and be a little bit more of a shooting threat and. Uh, that's something just gonna, I'm going to keep working on. Eight assists after today. Obviously, you, you look very, very uh, good on the ice right now. You're dominating play as far as I can see. Anything that you've worked on this summer specifically uh, coming into this season that's obviously elevated your game? Nothing really spe special. I was just always trying to um, get my small percentages better, get a little faster, quicker, stronger. And uh, I mean, I watched a lot of video this year that was different to, to other years too. Just improve on small details, uh, know what to place myself on the ice better, and uh, try to become this little bigger threat and also uh, help my teammates to be bigger threats uh, the way I position myself on the ice. And 
Uh, I just think the line that I've been been with now with Pallad and Nico is a line that I feel extremely comfortable in. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're two extremely hardworking guys that uh, makes the game uh, a lot easier for me. So uh, we, we've been working as a line now, and uh, it's going to be fun to keep, keep it going. How does Andre change the dynamic of a line just with his capabilities, whether it's scoring goals, doing the dirty work? He seems to really be in on everything. Yeah, he's an extreme, extremely hardworking guy. Uh, he, he wants to compete on every battle, on every puck, and he brings a lot of strength and um, this kind of aggressiveness in the game. And uh, obviously, like everyone knows too, he's, uh, he's a winner, he's a leader, and uh, he brings that uh, definitely to our group. And he can make some great plays, and uh, obviously we saw uh, last game that he can, uh, he can really find a back of the net too. Is there something in the structure of the game right now, uh, rather this beginning of the year, where you guys are getting all those shots? You know, the least amount of shots you've had as a team is 37 in a game. Yeah, I think it, I think it all comes from the way we play overall in the game with with our speed and our tracking, and uh, this, it's just those small little small little details that that comes in the end. With uh, we're creating a lot of great A scoring chances, so uh, I think goal scoring is just gonna uh, be something that we're gonna keep working on, and uh, all of a sudden it's gonna come. How much does it to, to get a three game winning streak get, get going here? Oh, it's huge. Uh, I feel like. Ever from the first two games, we, we, we all know in the, in the room how good we played. And we, we still feel like there was so much positive things in our game after those two losses. And uh, we just felt like there were small, small percentages, as I said before, that was uh, kind of shooting ourselves in the foot to make her lose those games. So uh, we took that, as a, we took that a great, in the right way and we uh, built it off of that. And then we had some great practices and I feel like we set the tone right away in the first game uh, coming back. Do you think you have a team here that after a three-game winning streak, you won't get on too much of a high, won't get too much on a low, just kind of keep it even keel. Do you sense that? Yeah, that's all up to us in the room to hold each other accountable. I mean, we have a new day tomorrow, and then uh, we gotta we got to obviously take the good stuff from, from this game, but tomorrow's a new day. we got to start over. Do you feel a sense, last one for me, do you feel a sense that after that second period, or in that second period against Anaheim, there's a new sense of calm from McKenzie back there and just the way he's handling himself right now? Yeah, he, he had some huge key saves in the game that uh, he really came up when we really needed him. And uh, obviously it was uh, it's a huge relief for us knowing that um, you have that kind of a guy um, saving you in the end. And uh, both Islanders came and tonight he had some really good key saves that uh, made us win this game. Thanks, Barry. Lindy, how um, good is it to see this group win maybe in a different way than they did against the Islanders, maybe not being able to access your speed the same way, but really chipping and grinding away at this one? Well, you have to learn to win uh, you know, games where they're real tight or maybe some of your execution isn't as good as it was the previous game. I think when you look at uh, the overall you know, play inside the game. You're not happy with some of your puck play. Some of our moving the puck up ice wasn't quite as sharp. And, you know, you don't generate quite as many opportunities. But uh, to be in a tight game, and I said this morning that, you know, I really felt this team came back from Europe, San Jose. Uh, maybe struggled a little bit, but they found their legs now. They played a heck of a game against the Rangers. We talked about this can be a hard game. Even this morning, you know, when Somebody mentioned them. I knew it was going to be a hard game. They're hard on the walls. They're hard in their puck battles. Uh, they played hard. Um, you know, we missed a couple good opportunities to start to open the game up. And then you have to hang around in a real tight game. Is it also a mentality thing, like engaging um, when Nico's goal is called off and you just keep kind of grinding away at it and not let it take the wind out of your sails? Yeah, you know, I think the... You know, the opportunity all of a sudden uh, when that goes in, you know, feels good. But then they take it away. So you got to guard against a little bit uh, of maybe a setback or guys being a little bit disappointed. But I thought uh, we got better for a good period of time right after that. Is there a different sense of calm in McKenzie's game since that second period against um, the Anaheim Ducks? Uh, yeah, you, you know, I think he's... He's played well. Uh, he's made the big saves when we've needed him. And again, tonight, uh, those last couple minutes, he found some pucks through traffic that uh, you know, made the difference, that allowed us to win that game 2-1. Lindy, have you seen the same type of intensity? It seems that way to us. Uh, Dawson Mercer and what he's been able to bring in the early stages of this season, kind of the carryover from last year? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think there's a... Uh, on the overall team front, there's a, a heightened sense of urgency. 
I think his game, you know, personally, uh, the small ice play, and we talk a lot, you know, a lot about, you know, win your battles, uh, be around the puck, stop on pucks. I think his his wall play, his battles around the net, uh, behind the net. I think he's increased the level that he's at, and he's he's winning more, creating his own. I think the fact uh, even on his goal, stayed with it. You know, he found a tight hole right in front of the net, and great play to get it to him and find his own rebound. So. Um, you know, that's the level we need to be at. Um, can you talk a little about, you know, stringing together three straight wins here? And do you have that type of locker room that will, you know, yeah, it's three straight wins, but don't get too high, don't get too low. Let's just, you know, play it even keel. <clears throat> I think, it, you know, it's the same approach we took after we lost, uh, lost the two games. Disappointing losses, uh, knowing that, you know, we didn't finish really well. I even look at tonight. I think the... The reason the, the game stayed so tight was we missed too many good opportunities. Um, you know, we could have probably made it 3 nothing. We could have earlier, you know, scored a couple. Uh, Jack's breakaway, you know, Woody at the side of the net. Uh, so there was some really good opportunities. Uh, you know, we had limited theirs to, to really uh, a couple top of the circle, maybe some point shots. We were playing well defensively. And you don't finish, and... You know, it, it makes it a lot tougher game. Was it nice to see Sharon Govich get his first? Yeah, I mean, what a great goal. I, I mean, you watch, you watch the goal, you watch the move. Um, you know, that's what you want to see when you, you get that opportunity. They, they, they had a big turnover. We took advantage of it. Uh, the Palat, Brat, and Heischer line look like they're clicking really well. Can you just speak to what you're seeing from them? <clears throat> Again, you know, puck support. Um, there's some connectivity between them you know they're they're staying tight they know where each other are at you know I think that's what we look for when you know put lines you look for some chemistry it looks like they got some chemistry so you know there's there's some good stuff going on uh, obviously the this uh, your system has looked really quick and the, the players have all looked very speedy out there um, how confident are you in, in your players stamina and, and that they'll be able to keep up this uh, high pace play real confident or my fitness guy is going to get in trouble um, you know, I think when when you play 11 forwards and you're dishing out a little bit of extra ice time, I think all the players like it. So, you know, if you look at minutes, guys that maybe are normally 14, 15 or getting 17, 18, uh, they like that. I mean, most, most lines want to play every third shift. And you get in, in a little bit of a rhythm. So by, you know, dropping a plot, a jack on uh, with – with, with Bastion and McLeod, uh, giving Woody a few extra shifts. Uh, you know, it gives everybody else a little bit more ramped up where all of a sudden you're not waiting, you know, three shifts. Maybe there's a penalty. Now you don't play till you have not been on the ice for maybe three, four minutes. One of the things we talked about last year was, you know, the need to start to hold each other accountable as players. Um, one of the things that I've noticed talking to the guys over the last couple weeks is they're really using that phrase, we are holding each other accountable. We are talking to each other. Do you see that as a coach? Well, I think what they're trying to do is communicate, you know, through the good stuff and the bad stuff. Um, you know, that holding each other accountable means that this is what we expect out of each other. And even if you've made a bad play, it's how, you, how have you reacted to that, play, that bad play? Or how have you reacted to the turnover? What did, what did you do to help prevent anything after that turnover took over place? And that might be coming back to the bench and your teammate just saying, hey, listen, we've got to be better. Um, and acknowledging, yeah, I, I do. That won't happen again. Uh, and, I, and I think when you start pushing each other and expecting more out of each other, um, the, the team starts to really gain some traction. Uh, Kevin Ball. Is one of those guys getting a chance to get in the lineup? Uh, what did you notice from him tonight? He, he looked like he was uh, jumping up in the play real well and, and played pretty well in his own end. Well, you know, first and foremost, he has to play well defensively. Now that's that's what we need out of him. Um, being uh, that exit guy leaving our zone or jumping in the play is part of our plan to get out of our, our zone under control. You have to be that out. Um, if I noticed one thing, you know, I thought he hung on to pucks a little bit too long a couple of times. He brought, you know, one way back in our zone. Uh, you know, those are the plays. That we're not playing quick when we do that. 
Um, that's a slow game, and it got them in trouble on one shift. So play well defensively. Uh, do your job when you get up ice. And then when you're in the offensive zone, we have a plan and execute that plan. Thank you, Brittany. Thanks.